Cheers to the freaking weekend. Wait, not me making an intro of this video without my ring. Because I'm about to take a shower and she gets slippery in there. But um, it's the weekend, baby girl. Let's turn up. <laughs> I'm definitely addicted to self tanner because when I don't have it on, I don't even recognize myself. Like this does not feel indicative to the true me in there. Also, this is probably because the ring is so new and exciting. I'm such a freakazoid and I clean it every day with my little diamond cleaner. Diamond routine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so we have my little cleaner and I pump it on. And then the diamond is dancing. Okay, let's go, I have to get ready and I'm not in the mood to get ready, but maybe I'll like slap it on and keep it stepping. That's all we could do in this life. What the hell? What's up, crazy? You are vibing. I'm vibing in the pool. We gotta start using this pool, huh? We have been. Not as much as we should be. Also, shout out ficus for growing so fast. That's right. It was so long that we were like, let's not put in the ficus because they take forever to fill in. What? Why are you laughing at me? Do you remember the news reporting blooper of the news reporter being like, I so pale? Me. <laughs> Fully. Like, I, I, she's so relatable. Oh, peep the sports bra. I know that's right. Big bag, belly person, not the band singer. Anyways. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the names of moisturizers are so smart. This one is called Hope in a Jar. And I'm like, <laughs> Hope sounds good. Thanks for that. Edit that out. It makes no sense. Big fat idiot loser. We're gonna have a good time and celebrate. On this episode of <laughs> Guess How Many Shades Darker My Foundation Is, why don't we guess? Do you think it's one, two, three, or four shades darker? Mm -hmm. It's not that I don't get tan because I naturally get so tan. Like, I'm a Colombiana, but I avoid the sun because, like, who wants to deal with sun damage? But then also, like, vitamin D deficiency vibes, but, like, I don't know. You can never win in this lifetime. I have yet to find a primer that's better than the Rare Beauty. Illuminating primer. This makes your skin glow so amazing. I mean the milk makeup What's it called? Milk makeup hydro grip primer is good if you really want your makeup to stay But if you want your skin to glow Whoo Miss Selena really came for her next with this formula. But I gotta be nice for Selena. Oh my god, listen up Y'all have been trying to tell me this in the comments for months and I guess I'm hard-headed because I never listened until now. And I feel like a dweeb because dweeb. Wow, we should use that word more. Dweeb. You're a dweeb. That word sounds very vintage, but like, why is it so good? It's like not extremely rude, but it's still accurate. Like, you're a dweeb. <laughs> I like that. Um, so yeah, I'm a fucking dweeb because I've been getting comments for months to stop getting acrylics and to start getting gel X. Um, My acrylics were objectively horrible. Like, here are some of my manicures that I would fully post on my story, like, thinking that it's a sleigh, which in retrospect is so embarrassing, but yeah. If you don't know, now you know. You need to switch to Gel X. It's very similar to acrylics, but it's way more natural, better for your nails, lasts longer, moves like an actual nail. Like, it really is the tea. So, just listen to me, because I didn't listen to you for months, and y'all were telling me in the comments, begging me in the comments to get rid of those crunchy, thick, nasty ass acrylics and I finally did and you were right so. so take the good times and the bad times too wait honey just said that he got too funky let's see kind of look good in my head wow that is funky what led you to this choice let's see I'm looking down my feet and it looks like I'm wearing clown shoes show them off you see or no they're not in the frame baby you know I don't have good eyesight I can't see from there give us a little spin am I on camera yes you are no, they're not bad. They're kind of fun. I just don't think it works with the tropical style shirt. No, no, no. This is a horrible shirt to put on. But I love the boots. You are my fiance, right? Yeah. Can you bring me the Anastasia brow gel on the on the table? What, where? On the lip. It's just on the dining room table. Check me out. Check me out. Oh, that's the vibe. Yeah. You look like a rich private school kid on summer break. I want you to love and I want you to you and me. Could write a bad romance. Ew. I hate that for me. Can you help me pick out an outfit, senor, please? Your outfit looks so cool. I want to look cool. Yeah, I'm kind of doing like schoolboy, like 90s, like. Mm -hmm. so why don't you follow that lead? So, like. You do it. I'm bad. No, baby, you got. I need to see some effort. Pick a piece and, get, and let's start there. <laughs> okay, fine. Like, don't just make me pick out the whole thing. <laughs> what if I did my ragged jeans? Those are so cute. They're in the wash, like the, the denim ones with all the pockets everywhere. 
Beautiful. And then shoes. Shoes are in your other the other closet, right? Yeah, I love these jeans. These jeans are everything. I can try to link them honestly because these jeans are so good that when my sister came and visited, she stole them from me and told me to order a new pair for myself. Fire. Shoes? Let me pick something. These little Uber driver things, like the only time I've ever seen people use them is... <laughs> Not the Uber driver thing. These are literally the Uber things, but That's they're perfect hilarious. for selfies. Oh, okay. This would look super cute. That would look sick. Okay, that was easy. Woo, thank you, stylist. Fit chick. So simple, but like... That's the bad. I got my gas station glasses on lock. I know that these are polarizing because a lot of people are like, yeah, and a lot of people are like, ew, but I like them. I like them. What, what people don't like those? Nope. Who doesn't like those? Talk to them. Why? Pull up. What are they saying? Authority. Really? Yeah. I wonder what sunglasses they have. Don't talk to me. The gag of the century is how gorgeous this truck looks on camera. Look, like the blue. Look at the blue. I'm surrounded by blue. So Nat invited us over for dinner tonight to celebrate the news. She's one of our only married friends, huh? Well, no, that's not true. She's one of our only friends in Arizona, I think. Yeah, she's one of our only friends, period. And she's cooking us a whole feast. And she's very excited to have us over. Let's see how this night goes. Because one thing about Nat is she always is down to get lit. Actually, no. A better way to put it is she's an instigator, which always makes it fun to hang out with she's her. She's always down for a good time. Always. Wow, look at that. Do your thing, sunset. Do your thing, sunset. Do your thing. We've been on a Brazilian music kick ever since we got back. I will honestly link some for you in the description because these songs are so fire. There's one specifically that I like. If you're Brazilian, you're going to be like, that song is so three months ago. But if you're not, it's like, El noche fue longa. Longa. That shit hits. So I will link it for you because you know what? Maybe you're not Brazilian, but culture yourself a little bit. The music hits. Oh sh! What? Do you see this? Pull up on the screen. Pull up on the screen. Y'all see this? Dad, Nat always does the corny shit that makes people happy. <laughs> Look! So cute. Oh, you like wrote stuff in it. Henny and Lauren, congratulations. We are so beyond happy and excited for you both. We can't wait to celebrate you two. We love you both so much and are so grateful. You got lazy at the end. I can't read this shit. Thank you. Nat, I love you. Just don't record this side of me. <laughs> she got her mole removed. I have to stitches. I look like how You should tell people you got in the fight. LOL. Oh, oh my god. Paris went with the wedding. Yay. <laughs> Thank you. We're reapplying our lips. Why do I look so busted? I look like I fell from the second story. <laughs> Am I still relatable even though I'm married and old now? I'm a fiance. JK, I know you're tired, you're tired. It still wouldn't be okay if they <laughs> so th Like this, they're that related. Let's put these like, down. Oh, no, I don't know who I am. <laughs> Leave a comment of what my last name should be. The comment with the Muslim man I'm likes, that's what my last name will be. <laughs> I feel like anybody could go to Go to Virginia. <laughs> Tell me your favorite qualities of your fiance. That fetish. <laughs> your alcohol tolerance. I think it's so much cooler than the Range Rover. Literally, I think it's so much of a better car. Henny is showing his truck on IG Story. If you do not follow Henny on Instagram, you are whack. Honestly, he does have some good styles, so he's a good fall. We are going to the farmer's market, baby. Nothing makes me happier than the days where we go to the farmer's market. It's the most wholesome moment. It's so fun. We get the best shit. We have it on lock. We have like our five vendors that we go to every single time. Hopefully though, I mean, this is a new farmer's market we're going to, but it's in the bougie part of town. So bougie farmer's market. Let's get it, baby. Hi, Mo. I feel like I'm really late to finding good music. Um, and then whenever I hang out with Aiden, he shows me the good music. 
and he just put me on to Sabrina Carpenter's new album. That is a good album. Oh my God, okay, update. I met Sabrina Carpenter and she thanked me three times for 12, 3.30. What? When I tell you I was shook and I was fangirling, it was everything. Sabrina Carpenter, thank you for being a part of the 12, 3.30 family. We are grateful for your album here. We listen to it on the treadmill. Like one of the songs on there fully sounds like it's Ariana Grande's. And apparently he was telling me that people on Twitter are like, she graduated from Ariana Grande University with like flying colors or whatever, cause it sounds just like Ariana's songs. I love that one. And then I love Tornado. Oh, if you haven't listened to Sabrina's new album, it is a good one. There is some songs that are skip worthy, unfortunately, like they're a little bit slow, but there's so many good ones on the album. So. Wait, I'm fully freaking out. We just pulled up to the farmer's market and I see a huge Colombian flag waving in the wind. What the f do you mean a Colombian flag? I'm about to get arepas, buñuelos, the whole nine. What the f I was not expecting to see that here today. Honestly, that's the most annoying part about Phoenix, to be honest, or like living in Arizona. I haven't found a Colombian restaurant. I haven't found a Brazilian restaurant. So like the extent of the culture here is like sushi and Mexican food, which is great. But I just saw a Colombian flag waving in the wind. We're at a new farmer's market. We haven't been here before, but this is the tea. Let's go. Mo, you ready? She's like born ready. The weather is inhumane. It's like over 100 degrees outside. I literally think I'm gonna pass out. I had to tap out of the farmer's market. What the f I'm gonna faint. <laughs> I did find Colombian empanadas, but like I don't know if I need to like throw up or something that I feel so terrible right now, like I'm gonna die. So. Yeah, any shopping by himself and me and Lua are in the car. Who can just enjoy that? Like, there's so many cars here, and there were so many people there just chilling, walking around in the beats, <laughs> in the beating sun. Like, no, 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 no. Like, she's panting. Lua, I don't know how these people can shop for a loaf of bread in these conditions. We spontaneously decided to celebrate tonight because the 12 3 30 launch went so well. They kind of like projected like how well it was gonna do. Like it did better than what anybody thought it was gonna do in the first day. Like it did better than like what people thought it was gonna do in general. So we're gonna celebrate. I'm wearing this House of CB dress. Um, I feel slightly little house on the prairie, but I was going for coastal grandmother. I mean, the thing about House of CB dresses is that they fit like slightly corsety, so if they do feel kind of sexy, but it still is giving like a little House on the Prairie vibe, so I styled it with this bag and this shoe, which is definitely not sticking to the coastal grandmother vibe that I was going for. This is very baddie, and like House of CB is very baddie, but I feel like that's my version of coastal grandmother. I'm Coastal Granddaughter. Coastal Granddaughter. And we're going to Nobu to celebrate. And wait till I show you Henny's outfit. His is actually the cutest. It's why I chose to wear this, because I wanted to compliment all he has going on right now. Can you show your outfit? I'm doing like a little linen vibe to match her. These pants are Coast clothing, New Balance shoes, and then an Onya shirt. You're funny enough giving Coastal Grandmother vibes. It looks good. I feel like I'm doing the Coastal Grandfather, right? The... You look like a yacht owner. I feel like I have a couple mortgages. Anyways, we're going to Nobu tonight to celebrate because it is a special occasion, baby. Okay, the more I look at this outfit, actually, I'm glad that I went with like a baddie type of heel so that I could actually like feel this. Hey, that's right. King. <laughs> We see him every time we come here and we always love him, yes! TikTok made us do it. We got some fun things that we're cooking today, honestly. So I'm trying to make a lemon pasta and I saw this TikTok about it and it looks so good. So it's like angel hair, lemon zest, a bunch of greens. And it, apparently it takes like three minutes to make. So we're gonna make that for lunch and he's gonna cook the shrimp. Shrimp was not from the TikTok recipe, but figured to add some protein. That's um, right. <laughs> Danny, what are you making? Oh. I'm making like a chimichurri thing on steak, grass-fed beef from like a little farm out here. We also got chicken. 
we have enough. Well, you're going to be cooking all day. All day. I love I'm, that. I'm down for that. Damn, do we have cocktails? We can't make cocktails. Hold up. And we have like basil and parsley. We have grapefruit. So we could do a grapefruit smash. But grapefruit. I don't think any of those grapefruit are right. We have a, our own grapefruit treat. We have... Uh, oh my god, we do. Let me get some grapefruit. Hold up. Bring camp. Follow up. Like it's a nature documentary. <laughs> <laughs> Good ones, yeah. Yeah, I feel like Claudia Solowski picking things from our trees. Does she pick trees? Does she she like pick fruit? gardens, I think. I think she, her life is perfect. Yeah. Right? Like she has the most perfect life. Take this, Claudia. We have grapefruit. Oh, oh. what's that? What'd you? What did I get? Do we have a juicer? Do we? No, we don't. We don't have a juicer. If we have a juicer, let's get some oh, of the uh, juicing. Oh, it's right there. Whoa. Oh, we're doing it all. This we're doing it all. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps below. Wait, look at this beautiful piece of meat. I want to oh. see another beautiful piece of meat. You hear me? This was a nice cow. This ain't your grocery store cow. Like, I believe the banana girl is shaking. This is, wait, who? What banana girl? You just started getting into YouTube recently. It's like OG stuff. No, these cows are treated extremely well. And they're very, very happy. And they're accompanied by literal cowboys on horseback the way it should be. Let's get these cocktails cranky. Am I wrong? How cool this is. It's PR from Philosophy, I guess. Shout out. Damn, I wish you told me before I started. I mean, I didn't thing. remember it till now. But look how cute. Woo! Oh my god, that looks so good. Um, it tastes like a stale multivitamin. We're a mess cooking, that's fun. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm not gonna lie, Penny and I auditioned once for... <gasps> <laughs> oh my god, good thing we didn't get that shit, Good thing bro. we didn't get that shit. No, what we would've it? killed it. No, we would've totally killed it. Ah! Would we have killed it? <laughs> Ew, nothing grosses me out more than people that like lick their own blood and suck it up before like... Ugh. Vampire. Oh, thank you, senor. Yeah, butter, yeah. In the video, she used so much butter. So, I'm gonna use so much butter. Oh yeah, we auditioned for some like Latin cooking show. They should have chosen us. They really should have. We met with the producer and the whole thing. And it was like some travel thing. Like we would have traveled and like tried new foods and tried new places and cooked and stuff and... We would have killed it. Also like a Latin one, like we are Latino. Check me out! I gotta show you what I got going on over here. Ooh. Yeah, it's a whole situation. Whenever you're ready with the shrimp, the pasta is ready. That came out so good. Do you mind plating the pasta? All right, I'm making a bootleg cocktail, but it might actually be pretty good. I found this random PR, so I'm using it. It's wet hydration, pineapple, aloe vera, vitamin D, electrolytes, and it's all natural, and it has a good flavor for cocktails. This could be good. This is the tequila bottle that Morphe gave me at the shoot for Glow Center, and this is the vodka from Father's Day, as you can tell. Wow, that's amazing, baby. Let's see if I made a good chimichurri because this could be also. It could be anything. It smells good. It tastes OG. Oh, it tastes like Grandma's Kitchen. Wait, what? You snapped. I think it's good enough for a first time. Wow, we're such a chef. You killed that, baby. <laughs> this came out so good. I'm so proud of myself. Thank you, TikTok. Do we have no forks? We have no forks in this house. We have a fork shortage. I think we have one, and it's usually in the washing machine. Mm-hmm. Mm.